If you've been trying to change your mood, to improve your feelings, to change your negative feelings and to improve that, but it seems difficult for you, you are wondering why it's difficult to control your mood. Watch this video till the end to understand the tips that was done or that was written by Dr. David Burns in his book Feeling Good. In this book, he uses cognitive therapy to uh, improve mood and to fight against depression. The principle of cognitive therapy based on the idea that your perception of your life yourself and your situation and other people will shape how you feel about those things therefore changing your perception will change your feelings for the better even more than what medication will do for depression this is considered as the first principle of the three principles of cognitive behavioral therapy first rule formulate it once again this time we'll take it from the words of dr burns himself when he said all moods are created by your cognitions or thoughts second rule consequently depression is nothing but the result of your negative thinking which means when you feel depressed your thoughts are dominated by uh, pervasive negativity third principle your negative thoughts work exactly like the mirrors on amusement parks your negative thought which usually cause your emotional term oil usually have gross distortions to sum up the bottom line Line, almost all your negative feelings is caused truly by your own uh, distorted negative thoughts so how to release yourself from this emotional present you need to understand one thing your thoughts or your negative or your emotions is the result of your thoughts which means your emotions cannot prove that your thoughts is accurate or not if you feel negative about something it means you thinking negative about it and you believe it your thoughts will follow your or your emotions will follow your thoughts exactly like how baby ducks follow their mom cognitive behavior therapy itself thinks that or ha stated that the depression is not emotional disease it's thinking disease and they help the people with depression by challenging their negative thinkings their cognitive distortions and Dr. Burns listed 11 cognitive distortions. First of the cognitive distortion is all of or nothing thinking. All or nothing thinking means that you portray yourself for black and white terms. It's obviously still war it's still worth it even if it's not perfect. The second cognitive distortion is uh, overgeneralization. If something happened to you first time, it doesn't mean it will happen to you in the second time. Even if it happened twice, maybe the third time is the charm. The third distortion is mental filtering. Mental filtering, it might be even called selective abstractions. It's like if you have exam and you are so much not happy because of the last point of the exam, even your score was A. Fourth uh, distortion is called disqualifying the positive. It's like you don't feel that anything positive happened in your life even though you've been promoted last week. This, the fifth cognitive distortion is called uh, jumping to conclusions there is two types of that either you have this mind reading I am I have feeling that she doesn't like me or fortune telling I have the feeling that something bad is going to happen to me uh, soon the six of them is called magnification it's like having your thought focusing on uh, losing your life repetition because of the coffee that I spilled on your shirt this morning and you really believe on that they even call it cat catastrophizing point number seven minimization when your thought shrinks something till a level that it becomes insignificant like when you shrink the ideas about your other people uh, imperfections or your own quality and qualification point number eight is uh, emotional reasoning it's not always that your emotion is right then explain to me how you when you had that bad emotions when you thought about smacking the head of your sister with a fried pan, frying pan because she invaded your privacy you cannot even explain that point number nine uh, should statement which means like when you are improperly convincing yourself about like this I should do this or I must do this point number ten 
done is mislabeling. Uh, part of it is personal labeling. When you create a completely negative image to yourself because of the errors that happens, like saying I am a loser, or mislabeling. When you describe an event with words that are completely inaccurate and emotionally heavily loaded. Then point number 11 is personalization. When you assume personal responsibility about things, uh, contrary to any evidence, what, that's what Dr. David call it. It's the mother of all guilt. This video to be followed with another video explaining exactly how we can deal with this cognitive distortions. But as far as you have been watching this video till the end, from the beginning, it means that it has been adding value to you. So please uh, hit the like button below. And if you want more of self-growth motivational videos, subscribe to this channel. And thank you all for watching.